everybody welcome back to another popcorn thank you for clicking on this video if you guys are new my name is stephanie today we're going to be talking about the new charlie's angels oh god what did you do to spend i compressed his carotid and deoxygenated his brainstem well that sounds painful don't worry he's gonna wake up unless he doesn't so charlie's angels is rated pg-13 is considered an action adventure and it's an hour and 58 minutes long release date is november the 15th and it's directed by elizabeth banks so we do get uh, three new angels. Well, technically it's just two, Sabina and Jane. And then we have kind of like the rookie, which would be Elena. Elena is basically this like scientific nerd kind of deal that worked for this big company that made some sort of like new thing. Of course, it has this flaw and it could actually be weaponized. It's not completely perfect. Basically any kind of hacker, like any low level hacker or anybody that's really just kind of like digging around can look at stuff and see that there is a flaw to it and you're able to like reprogram some stuff so the way that the movie starts off is uh pretty much jane and uh, sabina are like kind of working in the same mission in a way and uh they really don't have like the best meetup or whatever and when I first saw it, I was like, okay, I was a little bit confused. So unlike the one with Drew and Cameron and Lucy were at, where they already had that bond, and you know, you're able to say, oh yeah, these girls, they know each other. They've been through some things. With these girls, no. Their friendship does, you know, obviously evolve throughout the film, but I really wish that there was already some sort of foundation there for them, um, at least for Jane and Sabina. You know, Elena ends up kind of basically getting recruited. So Elizabeth Binks did direct this uh, film, and she's never never actually directed a action film before and you can pretty much tell from the way that it was shot and the writing some of it wasn't the best either a lot of the jokes kind of fell short they did these kind of weird like editing and cuts throughout the film so Elizabeth Banks as Bosley I I wasn't here for it honestly always kind of stayed as Elizabeth Banks like I never felt her to get into the Bosley character so quite honestly and I believe I said that when I did my trailer review is that I wish that they had brought Shia LaBeouf to have been the boss lead in this film like I would have preferred him over Elizabeth Banks. They really kind of try to like push female empowerment so they do that at the beginning and they also do it at the end of the movie and you get a lot of cameos of like strong independent women um all of them are like actors and athletes. I may get a lot of hate for that for saying this I am not like anti-female at all girl power like don't at me about you're not supporting us women no i am supporting but i feel that there's a certain way that you should do it so the one thing that i feel that really worked and helped out this movie was kristen stewart i'm not like a huge kristen stewart fan but she rocked as sabina like i have never seen her in anything like this this movie did not have kristen stewart i don't think i would have enjoyed it as much to be honest with you so i just realized that i think i was just negatively talking about this movie <laughs> that was not my intention you guys that's just kind of the way that happened so have you seen the new tribes angels movie did you like it did you love it or did you just hate it let me know down below what you guys thought about it what did you guys think of about kristen stewart's uh, performance do you wish also that Shia LaBeouf was falsely in this film what do you think about elizabeth banks um directing this like action film so do i recommend for you guys to go to the theaters to go and see this movie no i don't i feel like you should save your buck this weekend is crazy you guys we have five films coming out the two major ones would be this one and ford and ferrari i did my review for that one last week i'll have it come up here wherever it comes out through and i'll link it down below but i full-on recommend for you guys to go see ford and ferrari like that one was bomb i loved it this one i feel like you should wait um to stream it online or like redbox it we also have the report coming out and that review i'm actually gonna be doing next um i hopefully have that one on by sunday uh the good liar also comes out and then uh the fifth one would be the wave which i feel like it's like a little more like underrated film i honestly haven't even seen the preview for it so i have no idea what it's about and before you guys click out of this video don't forget to hit a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye